So here it is, the fastest pocket rocket that I could find on Amazon, or at least I think it was Amazon. I bought it a couple months ago and forgot all about it. So the reason I bought this was because I was wondering probably the same thing that you were wondering. I was at home, in the bathroom, hiding from my family and all my responsibilities. Don't judge me. I know you're probably doing that exact same thing right now. And I was thinking, I'm like, what's the fastest motorcycle I can get that I can still carry with one hand? So I'm thinking this is it. Let's, uh, let's box this thing open. Yeah, out of all the pocket rockets that we got, one time we bought a $300 one, that was crap. One time we bought a $1,400 one on eBay that was total junk. I saw it later on some other place for like 200 bucks. eBay is the worst. Signing on the eBay is like 11 o'clock. Nothing good happens after that moment. Safety first. Oh man, this is so cool. You guys are gonna love this thing. actually pretty pretty put together that's a cool looking bike so this is much much more put together than the uh, than the last ones that we bought kind of making me wonder where i actually bought this from damn i don't know why they don't make these things legal like street legal what's wrong with that does he have a battery is this thing Is this the electric start? Man, it's shining up. That's the same throttle that's on the kid's dirt bike. Is it? Mm hmm. Got keys on it. Got all the keys on it. All right, this thing's been sitting in a crate for, I, I don't know, four months, five months, six months, I don't know. That's just when I got it. Let's keep going. There we go. <laughs> Check it out, look. Did you step? Mm -hmm. I, I'm all right. It didn't get me. <laughs> Craig just, Craig, Craig cameraman just stepped on the, uh, <sighs> All right, so I asked the guy, I said, I gotta put a bike together. Can you give me some tools? I got a great team. Mm -hmm. Thank you, the team. <laughs> Super glue. That's hard, all right. Let's, uh, let's check this thing out real quick. Okay, they're not, are they, for, are they functioning for us? Yeah, okay, so, so those are actual functioning forks. That's pretty cool. Uh, those are real headlights. Three LED headlights. Little tiny tires, what, what's the brand of these tires? They're so cool. HID headlights, modal. PIAA, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania International Amish Association. Yeah. HAG Super, HAG Super. You gotta love HAG Super. Uh, displacement. Okay, this one has to be filled out. Displacement 99, uh, 90 cc's, off road use only. I thought it was manufactured in 2008, but it's manufactured in 2020, month number eight. Be uh, rear cats. Ooh, an actual one. Oh, that's man. Right there. Safety warning. Right. This vehicle is not a toy. All right, here is. What is the charger for? I guess this is how they want you to charge the battery. Not funny, but. All right. Charger. I mean, that casting is. That's really bad. Look at that. Like he's just collapsing in there. I actually just buy these little tiny crappy Chinese bikes just to get the tools. Before we get to more action right here, this, this video is sponsored by Doorway. It's something you walk through. You try it sometime. And next time you walk through a doorway, like I'm doing right now, use promo code Bikes and Beards. It helps us out. Is there a windshield? Uh, or is this phenomenon too big? This is the fast one, so they needed the bigger speedometer to fit the. Oh no, you know, it's, it's right here. More numbers. Here it is. Look at that little tiny windshield. 
Oh, that's what all these bolts are for right here. What do you think? Is this thing gonna do 70 miles an hour like we were hoping it to? <laughs> In this can, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Downhill with a tailwind. Honestly, why can't they just make that same bike but bigger? Adult size. Right. That'd be, that'd be the best looking Chinese sport bike I've ever seen in my life. Which bikes I used to like were the, the uh, Telefonicas. The yeah. GSXR Telefonicas. Yeah. I thought they were cool. Yeah, that's all right. Hey, Craig, remember that bet we did? I do. Not really a bet, but more like a dare. Yeah. No, don't do it. That, that's not good. <laughs> Dang it, Craig. Here you go. There's. It's like eight bucks. Uh, I still owe you a couple bucks. Thank you. Out of all the bolts that are not tightened, this one has to be the tightest bolt in the world. Why are they so, um, why is it so important to protect this one little heat shield? And probably what happens is it comes, the sheets come with this on them. Oh, we're just stamp and they out. stamp them out and they never peel it off. What they stand for? Apple. For the rest of the world, there exists something called trademark. And you can't just use people's stuff. For China, <laughs> they don't even care. They're like, what are you gonna do? We're in China. You gotta fly, you gotta fly over and deal with this. All right, we've got, we've got no power though. I'm just, I'm wondering if the battery's just not connected. Nothing else is connected to it, so this is not a charger for the battery. Unless this is to start the bike. Look at that. What's that, brother? Yeah, that wire's probably broke right there. This is really surprising. You buy some good high quality stuff from China and uh, something's broken. It's pretty impressive. There's more bolts holding this tailpiece on them than the tailpiece on my race bike. And less zip ties. Stuff. There's a bolt down here. Where by the warning label? Take a little sticker at that. Bam. Those Chinese, the craft is sneaky. Would you take it? If you remove this card, <laughs> you void the warranty. Well, in my fuse, I was fine. Charging stuff. Is this even a 12 volt? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So I assume that when you turn the key on, lights would come on. But apparently not, because check this out. That's the guy's thing. Let's, uh,. Let's put this thing back together, throw some gas in it, pump up the tires. Let's take this for a spin. Oh, come on. The tires very specifically say for racing purposes only, but not for highway use. What if I want to race on the highway? You're out of luck. What if I want to race on the highway? All right, so Craig, you make any observations on this thing while you were uh, putting this thing back together? One, this brake, this brake caliper is just off, but it's not, it's not straight. <laughs> this is how shit I feel when he rides this little bike. Let's, uh, let's see if this thing fires up. Turn the key on. Wow, Craig. Levers are up here. I didn't set the levers. Is that what you think? <laughs> I'm gonna ride like this? Yeah. It's not fast enough. We gotta do something about it. Ah, ah. Everybody need that door frame. Ah. It hangs out too far. The stupid blood bars. So this 90cc fastest pocket rocket was not, it didn't really hold up to our expectations. It actually wasn't even that faster than these 49cc $300 pocket rockets we bought last year. So I did what I often do when I get in these situations. I decided to make it better by making Craig make it better. But first, me and Craig had to do our ritual song and dance before this. 
Greg, I need you to put this giant motor inside this very small motorcycle. You have two days to do it. Not possible. All right, I'll see what I can do. So most Chinese motors are actually clones of Honda engines. And just like this one, with the majority of them being clones from a CT90. You know, something like you would find in the, in the Trail 90 like I have at the shop. So we were able to take this 140cc motor out of my pit bike and jam it in this little tiny bike with a few modifications. So now, here you have it. And uh, you know, since we do so many modifications to it, we're just gonna call this our own thing. This is the Bikes and Beards um, throttle cable. You got a shifter now, that's pretty awesome. Yep. Oh, is this, do we need a clutch? Nope, automatic. What's this? Brake. Oh, we got a brakes now. That's rubbing into the battery. Dude, that's not good. Is that why my face started burning? I should probably wash my hands. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, my face is starting to burn. Right now? Yeah, like I wonder if I touched it, kind of like rubbed my face a little bit. I'll wash. So I guess the battery box is a wear item. So is the battery. Yeah, so I'm the starting, battery. I'm starting to get a little burn. Amazing. Perfect. So this is it. Uh, we got some zip ties on here. We have to replace the actual gas tank with a bottle because the engine completely comes up inside here. You can see it. It's about uh, I don't know half an inch from actually touching the front wheel. Came out really good, right? I'm really, I'm really excited about this. Too small for adults to ride, but too fast and dangerous for kids to ride. Yep. So we created the most perfect motorcycle. We basically created the shake weights of motorcycles. I saw that. So, I, I saw those bolts in there. That look pretty awesome. You know, sometimes you just have to, just have to make it work. So while Craig's wrapping up, finishing up some uh, last final touches, we're going to see if this thing can hit 70 miles an hour. We got a radar gun. I got a race suit. Did you say 70? Than that. What do you think? Is this thing going to do 70 miles an hour like we we're hoping it to? I think it's got some pep to it. Yeah, baby! <laughs> this thing moves. All right, let's do it. Down. Yo, how fast was that? Uh, I'm learning it's 49. What? Yeah. I could do more. We did hit 59. There may have been a margin of error in that gun. I actually kind of slowed down before I passed the gun right away. So we may have, we probably hit 60. I'm pretty happy with that. Subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.